Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, October 30th. Um, what a day for sports yesterday. It was just one of those days where, you know, the World Series game, just battling the whole game. You know, Dodgers go up four. Houston comes back. Tied it up at, you know, LA gets three more. You know, Houston ties it up at seven. You know, and then it goes nine to 12. Houston. Dodgers crawl back and then at 12 12 and they go in the extra innings and they went 13 12. It was just one of those games that, you know, this is what makes the World Series what it is. You get a team that's never won it before versus a team that hasn't won it in 29 years. And it's just uh, it's a series for the ages. And then that, that actually came after probably the best game of the NFL season, which was uh, Houston and Seattle. And I will admit, as a Seattle fan, I was. Not completely um, surprised by the fact that Houston is just such a high-powered offense. I mean, look what they did a number of weeks ago. They had like 50-something points in one game. And Deshaun Watson is one of those rookies. And this happens to quarterbacks who get, like Dak Prescott, they get really hot. You know, uh, it's because no one's ever seen them before. And But what will happen is the NFL will learn their system and learn how they operate. And, you know, it'll kind of be a... a know second year where it's kind of uh you know it'll be a lot less than what they did this year but it's it's because they just learn about it you know so but uh the Seahawks game wow it was uh I was getting ready to go I was I do a run I try to run every single day and um I did uh but I was I was getting undressed to go run you know I hear the screaming come from downstairs you know it's my woman and uh it was just uh she just, I come right and I was like, what's going on? You know, I could have turned the TV on the room and just watched it in there, but I, I needed to go out and do my run. And I just need to get it done before we head over to a uh, friend's house to carve pumpkins. And, um, you know, I'm just sitting there and it was just like, she screams and I, I come down there and I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, 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 you know, cause you know, I know the Seahawks got the punt and they're around their, their own 20. And so they are like, well, they got about a minute and 40 seconds to go 80 yards with no timeouts. So, you know, and then they got that bomb to, I think it was Richardson. And then Lockett catches one, runs it into the middle of the field. Next play from scrimmage is like 28 seconds. And then he hits Jimmy Graham across the middle where either, you know, a defensive back or a middle linebacker should attract him or something like that. And nobody did. He's wide open, caught the game with a touchdown. Uh, and over almost 1,000 total yards of offense. You know, both quarterbacks had almost 900 yards of passing. Yeah. It was just ridiculous. It was one of those those games that uh, people love to watch. And, uh, you know, not many times you get to see that. With Seattle, it's it's usually at home. It's usually a barely one-sided game for the most part. But, I mean, as, as exciting as exciting gets, that was a great game. And, um, you know, it was, uh, it was nice to actually get a chance to watch that one. Uh, I don't really get those games. Great opportunity because we have responsibilities as an adult. So, anyway, um, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I did have a chance to go hiking tomorrow, yesterday, but I just had a lot of things I had to take care of. Um, but uh, looking forward to um, this week, and then next week is the week where we have Veterans Day, and that weekend. Veterans Day weekend, we will be going up to, or down to, down and over to Long Beach, Washington to uh, spend the weekend with family and scatter my mom's ashes, which is going to be another emotional event. Um, one point of reference, though, I did, uh, I did, I kept a few of her, quite a few of her voicemails as she left, and um, I just kept listening to them on Friday night, and it was to know that, I mean, that person that, you know, still have her voice, it's, it's nice. And to hear, hear her say she loves me, you know, it's nice to hear. But, um, it doesn't make it any easier, but at the same time, I'm thankful that I at least have something, you know. Um, you know, we didn't have many photos together because my mom just, she didn't like pictures. She just did not like them. She saw somebody pull out a camera and she just kind of turned the other way and put her hand up. It's like paparazzi or something, you know. She just was never comfortable behind the camera. Or in front of the camera, I should say. 
So, I mean, she quit taking pictures in front of people uh, for almost 10 plus years. Um, I mean, after I graduated high school, I don't think I ever got her in front of a camera again. Uh, maybe, yeah, like, oh, so it's been almost 10, it's about, been about 10 years because when my nephew was born in 2006 is when she quit taking pictures. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, it's nice to have that, you know, I was looking forward to family coming out, I haven't seen them since my grandfather died, but, um, you know, it'd be nice to see them and spend time with them and, you know, just kind of do what my mom always wanted to, where she wanted to be because she was always happy at the beach, always, so, anyway, so happy Monday, have a great day, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, thank you.